Blaine and the Great Dragon by Ashlyn and Kiera. One day in a little village in China called Huaxi, a girl named Ming and her family were planting crops. Ming decided she was hungry for berries. Ming said, I'm hungry for some berries. So Ming wandered off to a berry bush in the forest. She gathered as many berries as her arms could hold. A beast the Wexi people called the Great Dragon lived in that forest. The beast was very lonely. You heard Ming's footsteps and peeked through a tree to see what was making the footsteps. She saw Ming and thought she was very beautiful. So she, so he followed her home. On the way back to the field, she heard footsteps. Who is there? She cried. The dragon heard this and hid. Who is there? She cried even louder. It is I, the great dragon. As soon as Ming heard this, she dropped all her berries. Plop. Ming screamed. My berries! She was terrified. She had heard horrible stories about the great dragon. I know you are afraid, but I am just a normal 12 year old boy trapped in this body, said the dragon. Please take me with you to your village. I am so lonely. Okay, but you have to keep quiet, said Ming. So weeks and weeks passed, and none of the villagers noticed the big scaly dragon. One chilly day in May, they were hot in their house. So they went outside to get some fresh air. Then one villager noticed the scaly thing, the scaly dragon. She was a short old lady and very weak. So she threatened to kill the beast. I'm going to kill all the villagers and we're going to kill you. Min did not want this to happen because she and the beast were in love. No, don't hurt him. So she stood up for him and said no, but she had already ran to tell the fellow villagers. So when the villagers came with torches and pitchforks, the beast had already chased him towards the old boy. Hooray, my curse has been lifted. Thank you for all your love. That has to change me back. You're welcome. Yippee! They apologized. The villagers apologized for the way they had acted. We are sorry, said the villagers. The villagers learned a very important lesson. They learned to treat others the way they wanted to be treated. The